People will often ask, you know, how can you detect termites? And this cannot always be easy. Because they eat from the inside out to the timber, sometimes the timber from the outside can look very sound. It doesn't look as though there are any termites in there at all, until obviously you start tapping. So to explain the treatment process, I love to be described it as we'd love to be able to jack up the house and spray all the soil underneath the house and then put the house back down. Of course we can't do that. So we have to drill around the exterior of the house to treat the perimeter and then cut traps to access the subfloor areas of the house. This is if the house has board floors. With regards to mixing the product, it's mixed with tap water and they mix it to the, the rates on the actual label and applied as per the label. And also Australian standards as well as any other uh, documentation required with applying the product. The treatment is applied using an injector. If there are pavers, they'll be lifted where the pavers are resting against the foundations and then restored after treatment. In areas where there are garden beds and so on, they will be trenched sprayed and then backfilled and then sprayed again. With regards to the interior areas of the home, as I said, if it's a board floored home, so there's a subfloor, they'll cut traps in, in some cases it might be two traps per room on average, depending on the size of the room of course, and they cut the traps in a very neat fashion using a jigsaw to cut a manhole big enough for them to get through. They crawl down in underneath the subfloor area, taking the gun and the applicating equipment with them and spray the entire subfloor area of your home up to the foundations. Treatment can be quite invasive for that reason. Uh, a lot of people can be quite shocked by the state of their house um, halfway through the process, but our technicians are fantastic. They'll restore everything at the end of the day, and a lot of the times people make, you comment and make comments in regards to saying that they didn't even know they've been here. The technician will leave you uh, some information in regards to the property uh, verbally, but also you'll receive a care plan in the mail. It's important that you read and take the time to understand the care plan because there will be recommendations on the care plan. There'll be a checklist. For example, you may need to correct air conditioning wastewater. That needs to be tailed away at least three metres away from the building or into some sort of drainage system. It's important that you follow the recommendations. Put them on your to-do list uh, over the coming months to get those done. And when the technician comes, you can obviously uh, check if you've got any queries or give us a call at any time if you're not sure about any information that we provide you. No worries with the team from Murray's.